Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super special video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you probably know by now that I am in a long distance relationship. So I've been in a long distance relationship for a couple months now and I currently live in Seoul, South Korea. I'm originally from Canada and my boyfriend is originally from New Zealand and he lives in Sydney, Australia. So I decided to surprise him for the holidays and fly all the way to Sydney without him knowing. So we initially were both gonna spend the holidays by ourselves because trying to be smart about our budgets because the flights were really expensive. We were like, let's not spend so much money over the holidays just to be together. Another reason that kind of deterred us from meeting in Sydney is that he has roommates. So I couldn't really stay with him um, over the holidays, but I did find another place. So I'll actually like share with you guys all of the process of me planning the surprise and actually finding a place and how i was planning on surprising him um, once i got to sydney and the reason why i decided to actually go forward with this surprise is that i actually thought it was a little bit stupid that we were stopping ourselves from meeting um just because it was a little expensive and then we were both gonna end up spending christmas alone like i do have friends in seoul but i don't have family and then he has a couple of friends in sydney but he also doesn't have family there so it was kind of stupid for like both of us to be miserable over the holidays so i jumped the gun and i did purchase some tickets um to surprise him for the holidays and for us to be together Okay, so before I decided to actually purchase my tickets, I wanted to make sure I had an accommodation and Sydney's super expensive and the hotels were like so expensive over the holidays. Um, the Airbnbs were like insane. So I actually did a little call for help on my stories and I asked if anyone knew of anyone that was subletting their apartment over the holidays. I obviously blocked him from my stories for that um, single day that I posted this story um, and I did get a few um, responses and I reached out to a few of my friends that I already had in Sydney so I ended up finding a place through a common friend. So once I got the place locked down, I actually booked my tickets right away. So I booked everything on November 28th and I was flying on December 22nd. Because I'm usually a planner, I was able to ask him for his work schedule without him really doubting me. Um, so I usually plan things and I'll put them in our shared calendar. And so I pretended like I wanted to plan our date night. And so I specifically put a date night on the day that I was arriving just to make sure that he didn't plan any other things with his friends uh, or his coworkers and stuff. So um, I put down the date night on the 23rd, which was the day I was arriving. But then I saw that he put an on-call schedule in our shared calendar. And so I just was texting him, making sure that everything was okay and honestly i was super nervous that the surprise was not going to work but he was just like he did not know we also got each other like christmas gifts and i was kind of rushing him and saying like please make sure you send the package through express because of black friday and the holidays i don't want the package to get lost just because i knew i was leaving with his gift and i wanted to bring it with me to australia i just wanted to pretend like i didn't want um, the gift to get lost and we would be able to open it together on facetime on christmas and so here he's like i get to open my christmas present and it'll be our first christmas together but we'll still be long distance so he didn't know so i leave in two days i packed my suitcase up already and i'm actually only gonna bring oh my god sorry for the mess a duffel bag here um because i'm only staying for 10 days so i don't want to like overpack things and i actually also got some stuff sent to me to australia to his address and i kind of just told him like oh you can keep them um until we see each other next time which is going to be next year um before I decided to come to Australia and surprise him. Um, and he literally was just like, yeah, okay, no problem. I got your package. <laughs> so I am getting so freaking nervous because I'm scared the surprise is not gonna work. Um, you know, what if he like figures it out? Also, I don't know why I agreed to this, but we decided to get this widget that shows the distance between me and him. And so obviously it says like 8,000 something kilometers. But once I land, it's going to be like, you know, like 15 kilometers. So I actually have to like deactivate that widget and kind of pretend that it's not working for me at the moment. Um, he's probably going to be sussed out, but you know what? It is what it is. I'll try to come up with an excuse. Um, we keep talking like every single day and he keeps telling me about his plans for Christmas Day, like calling his family and maybe going to the beach and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to spend Christmas with my friends like this and that. I'm so sad we're not together. Um, and so he really has no idea at all 
uh, that I'm coming. I do want to share a few screenshots of like a few conversations or a few things that we've said in the last couple of days because it's just so funny how he really has no idea and all of my friends are playing along with it. So I'll just like include them here because I just think it's so hilarious and you guys need to see this. So this is what I ended up saying to fix that whole widget situation because the widget usually shows like 8,000 kilometers between us. But then obviously because I'm flying over to Sydney, it, would not, it was not going to show that same distance. And so I just told him that my phone was running out of space and so I had to delete some random apps. And he totally bought that. He didn't ask any questions. <laughs> It was delayed um, till 8.30 and I just checked in. I think I have like a middle aisle seat, which is like the worst. But anyway, the foot is the one next to me and I have to just wait about 10 minutes before um, I want to get some food because they have to inspect the luggage. And after that, I'm gonna go pick up some food because I'm actually starving. I didn't have lunch because I was too nervous, um, but I'm gonna go pick up some Chani Jam convenience store food. seen security so packed like today i think it's because of the holidays um i think it took me like over an hour for security which is so rare because every time i've flown it was literally like 15 or 20 minutes the security was quite long but i made it to the gate and i feel so bad because i keep texting justin like hey babe i'm at dinner i can't answer you um i'll message you when i get back and it actually works out really well that my flight was delayed so then i can just wish him good night without it being a little bit like suspicious because i was supposed to fly a little bit earlier and i don't sleep that early usually um so it works out well but i have a 10 hour flight to go um before i reach destination finally boarding the flight is like a whole hour late Okay, so I thought I'd do a little voice over here. So my flight was initially 10 hours long. Um, I flew with Qantas and honestly, pretty good experience. The food was good. They gave us this garlic bread, which was amazing. And even some Malona ice cream. Quite uncomfortable being in the middle seat, but I was still able to get about six hours of sleep. So that was really good. I landed, the first thing I did was to pick up a SIM card so I can message Justin. So this is a text that I sent him once I arrived in Australia. So the whole plan was for me to get a SIM card so he wouldn't actually know who I was because we talk on Instagram. Um, we don't chat on iMessage, which I know is a little bit weird, but that's just what we do. And so that actually works in my favor because once I get a new SIM, I get a new phone number. So he had no idea who I was. And so I just pretended to be this friend and to deliver him a gift. So I told him in advance that I had this extra gift that needed to be handed in person. And so one of my friends uh, was going to be kind enough to drive by and drop it off at his office. Um, but it was actually me so I messaged him and he was like yeah totally no problem and so I made my way to his office after that I literally just got off this 10 hour flight which ended up being more like 12 hours because we were delayed like a whole extra hour and then once we got to the airport um, there was just so much traffic so basically like a 12 hour flight um, I decided not to go to the apartment and to actually just go directly to his work and surprise him because I'm way closer to his work now at the airport than going back to the apartment so I'm literally so nervous I told him my friend was gonna come around 12 so I'm just gonna wait a little bit before calling an uber but I'm gonna surprise him there I'm literally like shaking
Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My luggage, like coming to your work, and I'm literally like just waiting for you to get out, and I didn't know which which like anything you were gonna get out, and I just terrible because I literally it was like a 12 hour. You look amazing. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got really. Oh, I am crazy. crazy. I literally like got Grace to post the stories yesterday, yep. so I'm like, so he's not gonna like. Like doubt or anything. Like I was literally steaming this whole time, babe. Wow. It's been a month. Wow. I booked it at the 29th. Wow. You don't feel hot? I'm hot. No, I'm very hot. <laughs> wow. Mm. I still can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> like this. So you're coming out like here. I was literally. <laughs> I was like, maybe he's not gonna recognize me. <laughs> mm, that's the craziest thing I've ever pulled, babe. This is insane. The craziest thing. 